hello community hope you are doing well in this video we are going to discuss nested component why we need to nested component and how can we create the nested components okay so if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe weblands channel and if if you want to pay in this channel then you can use paypal buy me coffee and using this join button okay so let's start the what is the nested components and why we need a nested components okay so as we know every application may contain stones of files and, and when an application starts growing it can be impossible to maintain those three of files and the application functionality okay and in angular we have nested components which allows to put reusable logic into the separate units which can be associated with one or more different component at a time so as we discuss how can we create the nested component so i created these two components before so i am removing these two components okay so let's remove and delete okay i am also removing from the app dot component control s and the module as we have discussed a nested component is a normal component but we use it with the parent component to communicate data between them let's look at a simple example where we will create two different nested component using angular cli and use them with the parent component okay so i already discussed how can we create a component using the angular cli so you can check the previous video let's create the nested component so i'm going to into the app folder so now i'm creating the nested component 1 and nested component 2 ng g c nested 2 okay i created the two component which is one is dead one component and nested two component so here we have created two different component using cli but before proceeding with the nested component we have we need to declare it within the app module our root module file for application which look like this so here i already included the app that two component into the app module okay so here in this file we have imported our two nested components after importing them we need to specify that component into array declaration okay array declaration this means we this means we have declared that component can be used by the application now let's open the app.component.html and put the source code okay so here you can see selector name of the nested component is app app dash nested component one so now i am using the selector in the app dot component file okay and the for nested two component selector is app dot nested two here we have specified the nested component selector tag which we have created previously and by using such a selector we will able to render the view part of the child component into the parent component let's change the same file and add the static message so we can see see the difference okay so this is the parent component this is the nested child component and now we run the uh, now we run this example and see the output so let's open the localhost 4200 so as we can see in the browser the first line is static line we have already added and another two lines are the view part of the nested component so whenever our parent component is rendered at that time the nested components view will be rendered okay so the the way uh, nested component is working if you have any doubts in this video please comment the below and thanks for watching this